porous borders, broken political system and corruption are a few identified causes of arms proliferation. And these illicit arms trafficking is taking its toll on security, accounting for the increasing violence and mass killings in some African countries. The West African bloc is concerned and swinging into action, partnering the German government to train officers and soldiers of the Nigerian armed forces and other countries on effective handling of small arms and ammunition by unauthorized persons. Participants in this room are being trained on how to provide timely, quality and effective intervention on conflict resolution and mopping up of light and small weapons in the West African sub-region. At the end of each course, we will select the students to train them three continuation courses by regional pieces and instructors. With the help of our modules, these instructors should then be able to carry out pieces and training in their own, both on national level and, if required, within the framework of the ECOWAS. The poor management of stockpiles of small and light weapons presents many security challenges. The outbreak of civil wars and civil unrest in Liberia, Mali, Libya, Sudan, Gambia and other countries in Africa, as well as the Boko Haram insurgency in Nigeria, has also led to illegal acquisition of small and light weapons. We want to bring about a pool of experts all across the ECOWAS region that could actually tackle that forge. Because as you said, I mean, the region is awash with, uh, with uh, uh, small arms and light weapons, and that uh, uh, problem has to be tackled. The convention is comprehensive to the extent that civilian positions are also being addressed. Issues relating to illicit circulations, strengthening border, border, border security and things like that. Providing border security, capacity building for border security operatives is also a key intervention that the Convention is providing. This is the second collaborative effort by the Economic Community of West African Countries, ECOWAS, and its partners in capacity development of its nationales in areas of conflict resolution. It is expected that at the end of the training, the officers will be adequately equipped to face the task of checkmating the proliferation of small and light weapons, as well as mopping up those already stockpiled by unauthorized persons in the region.